Mate. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Is that a new vest? Yes. Yes, a very special vest too. And that's a new jacket? Yes, it is a new jacket. I like it. Although I'm not used to seeing your normal clothing, man. It, it's not normal. Oh. Oh! Neither is this. I think I know what you mean. This yeah. is uh, the new stab proof material. It's a stab proof. Same? Oh, yeah, yeah. So stab resistant jacket. I know. Stab resistant vest. It's so good. I'm looking I'm very forward to so testing. Like, we've got a whole heap of weapons What's going on? What are you test? wearing? Uh, my chainmail print, of no. course. We're supposed to be testing armored clothing, not, not clothing that has an armored print on it, not the chainmail print. I see the mix up here. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You don't believe me that it's, it can protect No, me. because it's fabric. Yeah, it's well, check this out. Oh, oh God. God! My eyes! Greetings, I'm Shad and we have a very special cool video today because we have been sent stab resistant clothing, a vest, a jacket and an under an undershirt. So Guardian Wear reached out, asked to sponsor a video and send us some of their products for us to review and we're like ha ha challenge accepted. We're gonna be putting it up against stuff that I don't think it was intended <laughs> no. to, to try and resist. And uh, I'm really excited to see uh, how this works. Now, just a couple of quick caveats. This is a sponsored video. If you're interested in the product, there is an affiliate link in the description. Doesn't mean we're gonna pull it. Well, actually, the intention is to see what it takes to break it, mm. okay? That's not gonna affect our judgment. So Guardian Wear seems to be a new business and uh, We've done what we can to try and confirm that it's legit. All we can say is that the products are real. Yep. Sent it to us. They are being available for what, a month or so now? Well, a couple of months now. Yep. Because it's an overseas business, there's not a lot of the normal checks and balances that we can do to check mm -hmm. that the business is legit. So this is a buyer's beware. Um, we just want to make sure you guys are double checking. Exactly. Now, now with that understanding, we have the products. We're going to test it, put it through its paces, see what I can actually do. And I'm excited for this because this is actually a product I would be very interested in buying. And if it works, I would love this. Because have you seen the things online where people actually wearing real armor under their clothing? Mm -hmm. Like there was this clip on Twitter going around of a guy wearing chainmail under his clothes because of crime, right? And even Metatron a while back, I'm not sure if he still does it. He mentions that when he goes out in some dangerous neighborhoods, he legitimately wears chainmail under his clothing. And so I think for just due diligence and, and the bright point of comparison, we're going to be comparing how well this armor fares against real medieval riveted chainmail. And I'm very interested to see if this actually does better than authentic medieval armor. So we, are, we actually have three different types that we're wearing. I'm wearing the jacket, Nate's wearing the vest, and Tyneth, you're wearing the undershirt. The undershirt's a bit different to what we have here. Mm -hmm. This actually has some plates. Yep. Uh, you can feel some solid plates. Same as this. Same as this that. This has some good solid plates in it, mm -hmm. front and back. The undershirt is what, a type of Kevlar? It's a type of Kevlar, it's just a fabric, different mm -hmm. layers of fabric. There's no bracing, so uh, it's not gonna take any blunt force. These mm -hmm. will probably take a little bit of blunt force. Not really how much? A little bit. Maybe enough to save your life, but not enough to like fight with. I feel like yeah. those are the caveats mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. This takes no blunt force, but it may stop, we'll, we'll, see, yeah, we'll uh, see, a blade, which would save your mm -hmm. life. So ideally, you would actually be layering it. You would mm -hmm. wear the undershirt underneath the regular shirt, one of these over top. And I would say that's some pretty good coverage. Before we dive into the full on, you know, uh, test, we can quickly review comfort and look. I like it. Like legitimately, this is a jacket I would unironically wear. I like the look and it's not heavy. No. Okay. This is, I have worn snow jackets more bulky and feeling more cumbersome than this. I have worn the undershirt for about a five hour period and I've worn that vest for about a four hour period uh, separately, not together. And with the undershirt, it's actually really nice. It feels like mm -hmm. it's hugging you. Yeah. However, there are some interesting thermal properties. Uh, it's either very hot or very cold. So you okay. can get very sweaty really quickly, mm -hmm. or you can also be very freezing. Uh, that sounds I, like a normal jacket. It's, no, no, no. <laughs> Cause, that's the, what I'm like with a normal that's jacket. That's the opposite no, to a normal no. jacket. On top of that, the one that we've been sent has sleeves, and because this is a thicker material, because mm -hmm. obviously it has different layers, when you lift your arms, you're gonna lift everything. Really. You cannot even notice that you're wearing yes. the, the undershirt. It's very stealth, and from what we saw in their selection, they do have like 
sleeves, mm -hmm. uh, ones without sleeves, which would even be more stealth. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to this vest, this one's now, a little bit interesting because yeah. there's some caveats here. And you can notice the plates in this because like if I turn, those plates at the back are very, no, I feel. I think they are. I, I, okay, it's a they little, feel, it's a they little feel. blocky. And one of the final points is, while this may be a full Kevlar cut proof fabric, these are actually made of just normal fabric. These aren't a cut well, proof fabric. Is, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Waterproof yes. by the feel of it. Yeah. Got full functionality functionality with the hood. It's a removable hood. And look, I, I actually like there's just zip zip up pockets. Yeah. You can tighten the hair. I, I so in terms of function of the type of jacket. Actually, good quality in that regard. I'm happy with that. Something that I will add very quickly is that these plates, because once they get damaged, you have to replace them. Mm -hmm. It seems that in both of these garments, you can actually take the plates out yeah. and replace them. They have zips and Velcro holding those plates in place. In regards to the comfort of this, this is pretty good. It feels a little stiff, but it is armor plates. Like if I'm to reach mm -hmm. my wallet, I feel like I'm reaching past <laughs> plates to actually get there. Yeah, but, but overall, like it is comparatively very nice, pretty flexible, and I think it's pretty stealthy. Compare it to yeah. real chainmail, it's night and day the weight and comfort. It like chain mail, is. This, I, this is what, 12 kilos? Yeah. And if I try to reach in inside chainmail to grab something, oh, my nail's gonna caught on everything, and that's yeah. not gonna work. There's a caveat here though, okay. specifically for the vest. I haven't worn this one, so I can't speak to it, but this one, because with something like chainmail, you take that weight onto your hips, this isn't overly cum uh, cumbersome however it's a little bit heavy and as you start to wear yeah. it it does wear on your shoulders you, a bit this pulls a little bit on the shoulders like i said i'm used to heavier stuff yeah doesn't bother me at all for the protection this is supposed to give that's true this is shockingly light and i'm really i'm really excited to see if it's comparable to chain mail there's only one way to find out so i'm going to take this off get in our regular kit and put this through its paces. All right, we are back in our regular kits. Yeah, ready to go medieval on this. Well, what, you mean retaking the Holy Land? What, no, like, like smashing up oh, the- Oh, okay, that medieval, uh, all right. Yeah. So uh, the plates and the, the vest and the jacket are pretty much identical. They feel certainly identical. More importantly, they've also got the same weakness. So that's- Yeah, yeah. yeah. So instead of wrecking both, we're gonna be testing the vest. And uh, that means we might be able to keep that for something later down the track. But we will be testing the shirt and the vest and the plates. Uh, and let's see. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Enough talking. Yeah. Time to test. All right, we're going to start with the thing that it's made to be able to resist the standard kind of kitchen knives that criminals might come at people with. Control against chainmail, just something like an average power. Nothing. Average power, stab resistance. I think I got through each time, and that wasn't much power. Yep. Well, that's disappointing. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that through? A little bit, only. A and that was that, that was, was no power. Full power. Let's let's see. Go grab your knife out of the. Uh, it's making a statement. I have to admit, so far the uh, stab-resistant shirt the knife is vest. not very very stab-resistant. But this is not the vest. Yeah, do I, I, do I get to use this? Let's then? see it, Leah. I reckon. I reckon. But I want to try something first. If we're gonna do proper tests, Mike, Mike, Mike. If we're gonna do proper tests. These things are meant to resist cuts like this, where people just come up and It'll... just do something because it's the whole not expecting it and quick. And that went through like five times. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try this, so I'm going to try this. With the Rambo knife? Yes. That was sent to us by United Cutlery. I'll try it on this first because, you know, why not? Hmm. You know, this is actually not a bad knife. This is a solid boy. I just smashed the cord. Yeah, I, I, oh, yeah, I... I hope I didn't break the tip off, because that is, like, I mean... I didn't. It survived. It's wet now. Lick it. <laughs> Let me try slash. This is a sharp knife. Okay. I'll try slash. slash. Maybe, maybe that's it. We're going to wreck it. Okay, all right. We've okay. got, we've got okay. something here. That is... That didn't get through. That's a good result. Yes. That's that resistant, like, that would be a... A serious laceration cut. Okay. All right. So this, this is this is a heavy duty knife yeah. as well, and it's sharp. So. so this shirt is not stab resistant; it is cut resistant. Yes. Why don't we work our way up? Because look, for, for a slice. For, to be fair, right? We can stab through gambeson like that. We can, but I was expecting it to be <laughs> stab through. <laughs> so just like. You need to get tippy with it. Yeah, I know. With this one, um, let me just do a, a cut. That resisted? 
this blasted cutting through Gamberson. Yeah, we'll probably throw up a clip because it yeah. I zoroed it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is not bad. Okay. Okay, that would that is Gamberson level, I would say. It is. Uh, and for being so light and thin, the fact that it is very cunt resistant is better than we thought. <laughs> yes. Well, I wouldn't say. I mean, well, because look, 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 just we've got Gamberson here. Let me just quickly just show. It. Right? Yes, stabbing through Gamberson isn't hard. So, Tyreth, why aren't you going to chop that against the chainmail? Well, because I've already done that before. We did a whole video on it. Uh, <laughs> and it can't cut through. It can't cut through, but you can penetrate with a puncture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it would blunt the sword. You'd actually... Yes. <laughs> chainmail would damage the sword. And right now, this is our razor sharp sword. It is sharp. So, let's see what I can do. Oh, did that get through? Yeah, I blasted through oh, that. Uh, not, not by a lot. I wouldn't call that blasting. That's not through. blasting. It resisted a decent amount of that. Did it though? Yes. That I mean, would be a cut, from what I saw with the compression, that would be a cut about that deep and about that long, and then a lot of bruising. And I did not hit very hard. I want to be All very right. clear here. I was. Well, then look, hit look. hard. Okay, I'll hit it hard this then. Is good. No, no, this is my no, sword my time. No, he said it. No, so now I no, have to do it. No, you'll get your hard hit. Point. This he needs, he needs caveat: this is not as sharp as the other one. People think, ah, oh, katana, long sword. It's, it's, it's not as sharp. Okay. <laughs> Didn't get through. It's because it's blood. We good, Nathan? You didn't get through either. I didn't get through. And that was your harder hit. That was a harder hit, yes. That's impressive. That is actually impressive. And that's a very sharp sword. Yes. Well, because that one I was trying to get full coverage to yeah. come all the way down. With the other one, I was trying to go a bit more tippy. See, it wasn't, it wasn't just a long sword. It looks like he's been uh, attacked by Nightmare on Elm Street. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. All right. I want to have a go with the bust sword. Tippy, tippy cut. Okay, all right, yep, we're done. Okay, great. Yep, you couldn't get through. All right, time to action. No, it's not. No, we're doing axe first, you can wait. What do you mean oh, doing axe first? Oh, what do you got a spear for? Oh, yeah, you'll get your turn, but we're gonna finish up. That's, we're, you don't start with a bazooka when you're testing armor, all right? Off you go. No, 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 the axe. You too, you, off, off you go. Oh yeah. Not a chance, look, this is actually really blunt, but it has a spike for a reason. The spike is also blunt. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for letting me know. It, it's really blunt! There's nothing there! Alright, blunt spike. Ah! Ah! Good crap. Okay, so they're arguing about the next weapon, so I'm just going to have a go with the back to Corbin, because I think that it stopped it. So we had stopped it, but um, you probably broke some ribs. <laughs> that's a crater. Look at that. Uh, I, that's a crater. Oh, you. I'm but gonna it, hit it hard. Okay, do it. <laughs> but the first one just cratered. Yeah. Like, that... All it did was just made a giant crater. Whereas this, like this is, Ooh. oh yeah, that's just, that's Ooh. just penetration. Look at that. Oh, let's uh, grow some wet in there. Is that enough of this? Yeah, uh, look, we put it against weapons it was never meant to, intended no. for. It, but, it, we put it against knives. And it is and intended to go up against knives. It, yeah, it'll resist cuts, not thrusts. I, are you, do you think it's worth wearing underneath? Something is better than nothing, though. Is it worth the uncomfortability? And this is where I get to it. Is right? it uncomfortable? It's uncomfortable. It gets uncomfortability. You get kind of sweaty. Yeah, go with it. The uncomfortableness. Uncomfortability. Is yeah. it worth the you know. discomfort? What That's the word. What I'm saying is, I think there are other options out there in terms of armor that may do better than this particular one. Really? That's what I'm getting. What ones? Yeah, because this, I don't even know what it's made of. I, I assume it's meant Kevlar, to be Kevlar, but I don't know now. It feels like rubber, though it feels like very stretchy rubber, and Kevlar is a, is um, woven. To yeah. the best of my like, look, so at the, look at the way these fibers are cutting. I mean, Kevlar shouldn't cut like that. No. It's kind of better than nothing, but the thing is, like, it was surprisingly easy to get through this with a knife. But that's not the main. You know, we're not grading things on it's better than nothing. Okay. Yeah, now, we do. No, well, we don't. You're right. We don't. We don't. You caught me on that. We don't. Is it time to move on to? In the fact, next it's time to move on to the next one. Saying something's better than nothing is a bit of a cope. All right, we're moving up to the stab resistant vest. Caveats, okay? This coverage is mainly front and back. Mm. There's actually no plates on the side. So we'll show you what damage you can do on the side. And I would like to see a version that actually has more plates covering these vulnerable areas. Mm. Sides, 
shoulders because there's also nothing on the shoulders here as well. It's mainly front and back and I do think you could see people stabbing down towards the neck. They do have a version uh, that they available that has like a neck protector version. Yes, but that mm -hmm. did look like the other material yes. before. So, the... so if, it, if it's not clear, we just want to make this... This has plates in it that seem to be something like carbon fiber. We're going to cut them over. We'll find out. We'll find but the other one was just purely fabric. Yeah. What type? I don't know now. No. <laughs> Starting with a more common type of weapon that might uh, threaten someone. We've already seen Chainmail beats it. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to do some light, like... I could feel nothing got through then. All right, uh, heavier, heavy attack. I don't think that, that didn't get through. It, it bent the tip, <laughs> but it is a good sign when armor bends the tip of weapons. It means that's, that's solid. Okay, did you guys want to yeah, try yeah, with I'll a kitchen knife? Yeah. This is what I was talking about. It's just jacket fabric. So you're able to get past that. Yeah, the jacket fabric's nothing but yeah. the plates. The plate itself, nothing but deflection. And I think I need a bigger knife. All right, so I performed well against kitchen knives, but yeah. Tyrant, would you really call those knives? Not really. I'd call this a knife. You know, that's not a bad knife. Or, or I would call this a knife. No, 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 no. You see, historically, this is a knife. It's a very nice knife. All right, so I wasn't really able to get too much through the chainmail with this knife. I was kind of hitting a little bit softer, so I'm just going to do really one quick one, just because I like hitting things. Just bang. Did you get through? No. I mean, a, I like, think. A, but like. Yeah, no, it didn't even pop a rivet. It didn't pop a rivet. Okay. Okay. All right, now let's do it on this stuff. You ready? I don't think that got through. Damn. Okay. Well, hold on. Okay. Just because we mentioned before the caveat that you don't get full coverage, just to prove a point, and because that didn't get through, and I'm mad now. Yeah, yeah, that is that is the clear weakness. See, I got through. Not the plates. But I got through. You would want side protection. Yeah. I, I, I wonder if they have models that have more protection. You have to mention here that it is just the plates that are offering the protection, nothing else. Because up here, there's no plates. There's nothing. Up here on the shoulders, you can go straight yeah, yeah, down. Yeah. Like, it's just on the plates. Who's going next? So out of any knife that has a chance to get through the chain mail, this is the one. Have we yeah. tried this against chain I mail? I can't remember. All right, well, let's find out. <laughs> no. I mean, the tip got about, but that's just because it's getting in between the rings. <laughs> I mean, ouch, but nothing, really. All right. <laughs> I think I might have just poked through then. Look, there's a, yep, right there. But we're talking the tiniest. Oh, because, no, no, I didn't. There's the additional layer. Yeah, the, there's no, I actually didn't hit plates there, but I hit the plates there. So look, that's actually a good design feature, right? Is that they have plates underlapping the zip. And so there's no plates here, but because it goes over the zip, that is still protecting. So this is a Kriegsmesser, which translates directly to war knife, and that is kind of cool. So I reckon we oh, try no, this no, against no, no, the... No no no. What? no, no, we can't use this, this one. Why? Here, you take that one, and good luck. Off you go. You know what? Fair. It is a pretty blade. So versus male, I figured you'd use the spike. Nada. Nothing. Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do we have something here? Do we? We do! You got through! So yeah, the spike, but there's a lot of force. In anything yeah. that is 90 degree to the haft... But let's show you how much we got. So little. Got so little. Show, show, show. Okay, so... Tiny. Tiny. And in regards of what going through to the other side, it punctured the plate, but didn't actually puncture oh, the pocket. It? No, but okay. it punctured the plate. You can it feel the hole in the plate. plate. Yeah, that was it medium strength. I want to try no, it with a hard shot. If it didn't puncture the skin, it still protects. But it got through the plate. All right, now we're getting into some serious weapons here. Unlike the katana, there were swords that were made to penetrate armor, specifically chainmail. We've already tested this sword against the chainmail and has penetrated it. I'm not sure if it will in this setup because there's nothing kind of in between and I'm just kind of hitting the chainmail on the back, but still, uh, let's do a big thrust. That, I would say, got through. I think I busted a link then. Yeah, I kind of started, but that was 
about that much penetration. So not huge amounts. There's a lot of flex, Chad. A lot of flex, I know. Did you see that? That's why you want spring try, steel, try, guys. Try, try. We've busted the zip, and so just to ensure we don't hit in between the zip, going on the back now. All right, ready? Oh, wow. It's in the plate, but it's not coming through the back end. That's what I got before. All righty, it's time for the true master sword to actually give this a bit of a go. Has that ever gotten through the chainmail? Has any katana yes. gotten through? Yes, in a behind the scenes video, you, if you sign up, you can see that. One did, actually. Speaking of behind the scenes, mm. you know what we're not testing in this video? No, what are we not testing? Arrows. But if you want to see if this stab resistant armor can resist arrow fire, because mm. you're definitely going to come across that. We just tested this against a war bow, right. and. I'm moving, I'm moving. Wow, the results are actually very surprising. So much so, you're going to want to become a supporter so you can see the results. And to see Tyrath completely cop out. Shad wasn't even pulling it back to full draw. So he can't hack it. There. If you want to see us test war bows against this uh, stab resistant vest, become a supporter. You can support us on channel memberships here on YouTube, Patreon, player or subscribe star. It actually means a lot, guys. It's the only way we're approaching sustainability with that help. Ad revenue does not cover our bills, so it's only thanks to our supporters we can keep making this content. If you want to help us continue to do that, please become a supporter, $1 to $5 a month, and then you get the bonus content and see if we can get through this with the war bow. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go now, Chad, with, the, with the, the best sword we have. Because the plate doesn't protect everything, <laughs> I basically get? destroyed all of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hit no plate. There's no plate. Well, there. I kind of got... The plate it. starts there. <laughs> yep, yep. See what I mean by it doesn't protect everything? So i got to do that again. <laughs> well, at least we can see what's in there. That's interesting. You're right. It's like Kevlar. That This is Kevlar. This yeah. is Kevlar, and this looks like This looks a... like plastic... Ribbing. I think it is a, a type of carbon fiber as well. Yeah. So Kevlar carbon fiber. Let's try a thrust. I'm gonna do a nice one-handed thrust. Straight through. What did that go through? Yep. Really? That's through the plate. Uh, is that through the plate? There yeah, we go. Yeah. Plate starts here. Okay. Hmm. I was thinking we would have needed the back. So this one, you got to be a little bit more careful with the tip because it can. Just not on the plate. Oh. No, no, this one's through. This one's through the plate. It's through everything. How much? Yeah, tiniest bit. Tiniest bit. Half a centimeter. Let's try that again, because I feel like I can do better. That is death. You got that. That's a good one. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to... Oh, you... ready, ready? Yeah. Slowly. Okay, that's, that's good penetration. Yeah, straight into the spine, you know. So, this is interesting because... So that is a skill issue, just so we're clear on that. Oh, piss off. Give me the katana, this piece of crap. You'll get your turn, I swear. See what I mean? Move, move, I mean? move, move. <laughs> just... That's staying in. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. Skill piss off. I did see you lift up your leg a little bit, so you got a little bit extra power. I just needed to channel this barbarian brute force thing that Tyrone talks about. <laughs> yeah, that got through. Okay, uh, sword, meant to combat armor. Can get through it. Yes. Okay. Now keep in mind, both of those weapons that we just used got through the mail. Did get through the chain mail. Yes. This is actually giving us a good baseline. This is pretty close equivalent Something to I should mention, riveted uh, mail. Particular sword got through like 10 inches. I nearly got through uh, yeah, yeah. everything with this one. We so. penetrated deeper with chain mail yeah. than we did. Oh, I, we absolutely did. But you know, my main thoughts with this is that I see, I walked into this having theoretical knowledge on what a sword would be against this, and I still have. Theoretical knowledge on what weapons would would what, do against what, this. Oh, because you haven't got to use. Because I haven't got to use anything yet. Do you want to use a sword? No, I want to use a back. Like it's a back. I feel like I don't even need to put in that much force. Oh, that went in, and I pulled it back out to get it out. Do you hear that crunch? And that wasn't even. Nah, that you was weren't like, even trying. That was that was medium. <laughs> um, but going in and pulling back out, I pushed it to some degree back in yeah. to get the level of penetration. They got through what, like you know. <laughs> with full force, they got through that, and I did that with medium force. The Beck just rocks. The Beck is just <sighs> such a. You want a shot? Yeah. I, I, I want a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's uh, 
That's uh, right through a plate. Look at that. I think it's like stuck. I might have hit the core. Ugh. Oh, that was that was deep. And by the way, this is blunt now, uh, but it was blunt before we even tried, and it still destroyed it. But look, look, this is a weapon made for that type of stuff. Something I just want to illustrate very clearly, because I don't think we've done it yet, is all the the missing parts. Now that we've actually done a little bit of testing, I want to show some people some stuff here. So, starting off with right here on the back of the neck, straight through the neck itself to the head, straight through the shoulders, straight through down here under the arms, straight through. So you have a lot of open areas here. You need more full protection. Yeah. I think they have some uh, different variant jackets, vests, mm. that have more full protection. We saw the one with the higher neck, but for the actual plates, where the plates are, yes. honest, look, I'm damn impressed. Uh, like, yeah. yes, I, I, I'm just, I'm torn on it because this material here of this mm. vest is just like a, a normal vest. Yeah, yeah. It's not actually a special material. Hey, if it only saves your life once, then it's done its job. That, yep. is, that is true. Unless somebody goes for the neck, shoulders, under your arms, <laughs> or, you know, any, uh, except those spots, right? Yeah. I would, I would still wear on. Yeah, they're, they're, I would. I would ask for them to upgrade, make a yes. version of the jacket or the vest that has more uh, protection. Yeah. But for what they're offering at the moment, it's, it's very, like, it's okay. very protective. Maybe for the if main. you layered them, like yeah. you're supposed to, if you put that undershirt on and then put this on, then you have slash resistance mm -hmm. along with some puncture resistance. That's a pretty good combo, in my opinion. It's very hot and heavy. <laughs> I didn't. Of, I didn't find it hot and heavy. You wore this it is, for five this minutes. This is hot and heavy. And remembering though, with a jacket, like to keep your chest safe, you need to keep it zipped up. So if you're trying mm. to be fashionable and walk around with it open, it kind of defeats the entire yeah. purpose of the thing. So you know that that is a good point. But if you're getting threatened, you could just quite quickly, you know, yeah, it's not hard to zip up. Like something. that makes sense. And I'm going to hold this backwards for safety. Mm. But you don't usually see a knife attack because it just sort of happens. It's true. Uh, look, in a knife attack, I think a lot of targets are the gut. Is the gut? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And in this particular case, with this. It, it would save. It yeah, would. yeah, unless of course it is around the side. Um, yes. Sides are bad, and I do see not a knife attacks coming yeah. down. Uh, it's still for the level of protection it offers, right? It works. I, I, like these like, plates, friggin' resisted a lot before we started to bust through it. I want to try this knife once more on the back plate. On the back. Just because if I can't get through with a knife, I'll give it. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a little bit more lenient. Nothing. There would be nothing on that one. I got through, but it didn't go all the way through. Just that much. And I'm not. I'm not pulling my punch here. I'm. Okay, that one. I... <laughs> you yeah, finally yeah, got okay, it. Yeah. Okay. That... Did you hit a pre-established area? No. 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 That got no. through. That okay. got through. That. But I also feel like I. That's, just... that's not. You'd death. survive that. You'd yes. survive. You would survive unless they hit your spot. Oh, look. And this, this is in there now. Th this is. This is as protective as medieval riveted chainmail. Aside from the coverage, but the plates are as resistant as medieval riveted mail. That's damn impressive. The caveat is this is not 360 where this is tubular. It's around yes. your entire yeah. section. But also caveat, that weighs 12 kilos that you can barely feel. Yes, that is I mean, a valid caveat. Like, it's a huge caveat. Like, like this is really advanced armor that it can reach equivalent stuff chain mail being so light that's impressive so in finality do you want to get to final thoughts let's get to final thoughts. okay so we took off the back plate that's what this is okay mm. and uh, we can actually see the inside let's that, cut it open uh, well i can just rip it right now like this okay so this is interesting they have these rib sections yes they look like the, the carbon fiber carbon fiber yeah. carbon fiber so Reinf and then this yellow stuff is Kevlar. It's definitely Kevlar, I'm, I'm assuming, but I'm very confident it is, right? Now, this is interesting because the areas where I think we pe uh, punctured was when we hit in between. We're slicing through carbon fiber Yeah, but here. we don't know if that was the Beck or something like you that. You have too much faith in carbon fiber. <laughs> no, but look. This is getting through the, the carbon fiber. The areas that have carbon fiber is just reinforcing and has extra protection in the gaps. Yes, obviously it's for reinforcement, yeah. but we are getting through it. It is going through. Do we have any shot going through the carbon fiber? That's going through the carbon Did fiber. It? Hang on, like, so let's have a look, okay? Because this shows. <laughs> there's, right. there's little cuts here now. All right, so ready? That's in between. See this? This is. It can yes, that's so that's in, between. in between the plates, and that was with maybe one of the swords. I reckon there's a small one. This one was right on top. So, oh, actually, nope, nope. So that's in between as well. This one in between as well. Yes, that one's in between. Look, yeah. What about these ones here? These are. That, that one's tiny. <laughs> 
Hang on. Do you remember? It, how... only, it only doesn't okay, count okay, when it supports is, this. This is like no, no. This is like the only one. Remember how I said at the start of the video that they get rather competitive? It can come down to uh, carbon fiber versus Kevlar. So what you're basically saying Apparently. is that I am right, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, because. To me, if this is adding additional reinforcement, you'd want it over everything, layering it. Uh, it's just an interesting construction method, is what I'm saying. I, yes. th I think, that even though it is a separated composite, I think mm -hmm. the composite is actually what's making it. Yeah. You're giving it structure versus slushes, you've got the flexibility and rigidity combination of the Kevlar oh, and the wait, carbon wait. fibre. Wait, oh, that's interesting. I might be wrong. So there is a... Whoa, he's Shad, allowed, Shad's never thought of that before. He's allowed to prove himself wrong. Okay, okay, they've layered it. Yes. yes. So the front one's there, but there is a back one in between. Yes. And yeah. so that is good. That's a much better construction method. Well, so no, that, the wow. carbon fiber is reinforcing on both sides. I can't, I'm just, this is a little bit off topic, but I can't tell if that's bad construction method, how much we're getting all this, or if like a giant slash took it out, which I doubt. No, that's, that's construction. That is construction. It's just the, the edges aren't sewn together. So in between, we were getting through. If there's plates in yeah, between. Yeah, yeah, we were getting through. Yeah. Yes. So what so I was Shad saying, was wrong. Was wrong. Just so we're clear. Hang on, hang on. Hell isn't freezing over. It's a miracle. It's getting a little cold. But overall, like, it's done pretty well. Oh, look, I'm I think it's a cost-effective solution actually as well. I'm damn impressed. Uh, it, this performed actually a bit better than mm. chainmail against certain weapons. And so the question, like, like, if a medieval knight had this as an option, right, he would want more full protection, mm. but it's lighter than chainmail, just as protective, that's really good. Yeah. All right, now that I've got this back open, I can prove Shad is definitively wrong. We've you already said I was wrong! Yeah, but I'm, I'm really going to rub it in today. So you can see we're blasting <laughs> you know, through here, 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 here. Sorry, what were you saying? I, I, couldn't, admit hear, that I couldn't hear you over the thought it'll of me be, being right. It'll be nice when you admit it sometimes. I always admit what I'm Can you right. imagine them on like Friday night, family scrabble night? Anyways, <laughs> that's enough with the uh, this first one, uh, the second one. Why don't we go to this top? Because this is the one that I was most disappointed with. Yeah, about. same. Because I look at this and I go, okay, it looks subtle enough until you actually realize you've got to buckle it up. The back is a little solid. It looks like you're wearing armor. That doesn't. This you can actually wear effectively mm. un as an undershirt. But it and also, it's, it's cool. Well, how, yeah. many, how many layers do you think you'd need before it starts to work? Well, I just don't know what they've used here. Because like I've seen before cut resistant and puncture resistant fabric mm -hmm. that doesn't, have, have you guys seen it before? It's a type of, yeah, and this yeah. is a type of poly, but this is, I don't to know me, what this it is. is. Cut resistant only like it is not i wouldn't call this really stab resistant yes. we got through it too easily yes. i've seen i've seen some stuff from abattoirs and butchers and handled it and that doesn't it doesn't feel the same i don't, I don't know, know what, what that is it's very it's very soft it's very silky it feels it like might. a poly but it doesn't feel breathable so mm. it's it's just a different something. type of kevlar maybe maybe i don't um, think so so look the takeaway for me is uh, i would unironically wear the jacket I really like it. There are other options available. I'd be interested in finding ones that have better protection around the neck and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'm impressed with this, not with this. With I this. would still probably wear this one. You would? Like if I got the sleeveless one yeah. and I wore it underneath everything. It's, it's not encumbering. It's, it's yeah, it's not that bad. It's just this one because with these sleeves yeah, got, yeah, it, got yeah. in my way uh, a bit. But for the most part, yeah, I'd probably, yeah. probably wear one of these. So if anyone is interested in any of these Guardian Wear products, we do have an affiliate link in the description and you can check it out. They're right there. We will mention buyer beware. Okay, we've done what we can to confirm it and we've got the products. These ones we have are real. This one works. It does. For, for, you know, for its intended purpose, for the area it covers. It's comfortable. I like the look of it and I think it's quality. I doubt you're going to be coming up to against katanas and yeah. specs and stuff yeah. like that. And Rambo knives. <laughs> Usually, you know, if this needs to save you, chances are these are going to give you that little bit of extra extra advantage if need be. So this was heaps of fun. Oh yes. And, and I'm actually interested in trying to test even more stuff. If anyone knows or is making stuff, mm. feel free. Like, because we don't just <laughs> knives. You are, no, no. <laughs> if we, if, when we test stuff. We tested the destruction, put it through space to see what it can really resist, right? And we got the uh, the weapons to do it. So, uh, hook us up, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it, hook us up. But yeah. in the meantime, there will be a video here where we test the chainmail. You can actually yeah. see where we put all those weapons, what mm -hmm. actually got through, and the results may surprise you. Yeah. It was a bit smaller than you would think. And remember, mm. there is that affiliate link. If you're interested, thank you for Guardian Wear for sponsoring this video. 
some worked, some didn't. It was all good. And uh, bye bye. We'll see you later. Yeah. 15 cool. second outro, Chad. 15 seconds. <laughs>